Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about finding angle between the diagonal of a cube and one of its edges. And so how do we do that? First, we need a cube for this problem and we already have a cube here. And then the next thing that we need to do is to place this cube into a corner system so that we have something to work with. And so the easiest way is that we can put this vertex right here on uh, at the origin for the X, Y, Z space, right? So how do we do that? We can simply, so we can simply, this is the Z axis right here, and then we have the Y axis, and then this one would be the X axis. So what happens is that we place that vertex at that spot, as you can see. So now what happens is that um, we can see that this point right here, this is one zero zero, as you can see. And then there are other points right here. This vertex right here, it's actually because this is, uh, this is a cube and it doesn't specify the size for the cube, but you know that no matter how big the cube is, the angle between the diagonal and the, and an edge would be still be the same, right? So we can actually just use the unit cube right here. So that's why I use one zero zero. You can use two zero zero, but it doesn't make any difference. So now for this vertex right here, uh, since this one is a unit cube, so we had that one for the X and then also one unit for the Y and then we have zero for the Z. And then now what about this point right here? This point is actually uh, one, 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 as you can see. Yeah, and then of course the origin is right here. So now what happens is that we want to draw the diagonal. So how do we draw this diagonal right here? So the diagonal is actually starting from the this corner to this corner right here. So this, which is the origin to this point one, one, one. So we have this vector right here and then yeah, so this vector, okay. And then actually we still have another one, right? One of the edges. So let's say we have, uh, let's draw the edge. We can just use a simple one right here. Let's say we use this one, okay. And then so what happens is that we have the other vector. Or we can use that one. It, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. There are, there are different vectors, but then the answer will be the same. Okay. So now what happens is that we actually need to write out those two vectors. What is the, uh, the vector that is representing the diagonal? So this V right here is actually what it's actually starting from the origin to this point one, one, one. So we actually just get one, one and one, as you can see, because it's a position vector. It starts at the origin. Okay. And then what about the other one? The other one is the, um, one of the edges, right? So we can call that U It's actually up to you how you want to call them. As I said before, if you have seen my other videos, now what happens is that this one is also a position vector because we're starting at the origin. So the, the initial point for this vector is the origin, but then the terminal point would be one zero zero. So we actually just get one zero zero. Okay, so we have the u, we have the v, we can actually find the angle between them using this formula right here. And so now what happens is that we have the cosine of theta, which is equal to now u dot v, right? So we take the dot product of them. So we are going to get one zero zero dotted with the vector one one one. Okay. And then now the fraction line and then the uh, next is the denominator. And so the u, u is what the square root of one square plus zero square plus zero square. Actually, you don't even need to um, write this out. You know that the magnitude for this u is one is really because it's the it's really just the i as you can see here, right? So now what about the other one? The other one, the other one is the vector V one, 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 right? So we can actually just write out the calculations. So one square plus one square plus one square. So now we can continue to calculate the right hand side. So we are going to get cosine data is equal to now because the second and the third components are both zero. So the dot product will simply just be the first component times the first component. So one times one, which is just one. Okay. And then what about the, uh, the denominator right here? It's also quite simple. 
It's really because we have what? We have one square while this is really just one. And then multiply by what do we get here? This is one plus one plus one. We get three inside the square root. So we get square root of three. And so we actually just have one over the square root of three. And so now how do we find the angle? This is this easy way to find the angle is to use the cosine inverse of this one over square root of three. And then putting this in the calculator, we are going to get what data is equal to 54.74 degree. And we're finished with this problem. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe. I will see you next time.